Hey everyone, welcome back to QAC TV. We have a very special show today. I am joined by Asia, and you can see we have a very special guest in the bottom corner. It's Meredith, and she's doing sign language today because we're talking about Maryland Relay, and we have all these products on the table, and we're talking about a program, and we're talking about services that might be very handy for someone you know or for you watching right now. So Asia, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, of course. So you guys are doing a lot. You have a program, you have services. What is Maryland Relay and what are some of the services and programs you, ask, you guys uh, have? Sure, so Maryland Relay is a state agency. We provide a free public service for any Maryland resident that finds it difficult to use a standard telephone. So often our services are utilized by someone who is deaf or hard of hearing or has difficulty speaking. And we have operators that provide communication facilitation for those calls. So basically someone would call and then someone else picks up and they walk them through the process to get them in contact with a loved one or anyone else they need to talk to. Sure, so our Relay users are very familiar with the process and they access Relay 24-7, 365. Uh, we actually often go out to businesses and other organizations to let them know that they can call someone who utilizes Relay by dialing 711 uh, and then providing that person's phone number. Right. It's a crazy that I don't know that this exists. Like, we need to get the word out. This is really awesome. It is. It does exist. Uh, Relay exists in every state. We are mandated to provide it so that we're providing equal access to communication. Mm -hmm. I think it's important to know that it's a free service. It is. So people, if you need this or you know a loved one that needs it, let's, let's get them in the right direction. Certainly. So the Relay is can be... A, accessed by anyone at any time mm -hmm. by dialing relay. And then we have equipment that supports the relay and then some equipment that's independent of relay that also provides benefits to Maryland residents. Um, so oftentimes that's gonna be someone who is deaf, hard of hearing, has difficulty speaking, has limited mobility, cognitive difficulty or memory loss. So basically any reason you can think that someone would have a hard time using a telephone, we can provide an assistive device for them. Right, and speaking of devices, you brought some. I did bring some, just a <laughs> few. Um, we have a large uh, variety of assistive devices in our repertoire that we provide to Maryland residents. Um, and this is just a few of them here. So what do we have? So we have a caption telephone, which is that this larger one. one, exactly. That benefits someone who is hard of hearing and would have difficulty understanding what you've said on the telephone. So if you can think of people that use captions for watching TV, mm -hmm. typically the same demographic that would benefit from a captioned telephone in that service. So they'd be able to verify if they weren't sure if you said ball or mall, that gives them an opportunity to confirm that during the conversation. And then also it saves and they can access it afterwards. That's so awesome. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. It is. All right, and then we have some other devices. So we have right over here. Yep, so that is the Lucia. That is a mobile device that is beneficial to individuals with vision loss and hearing loss. So basically it will voice everything that you and I can see on a standard uh, mobile device. It will announce it out loud so the person with vision loss has access to that information and it's quite loud so that someone who's hard of hearing would be able to hear that also. Wow. Cool. Little, little devices doing amazing big doing things. Doing big things, right? <laughs> That's cool. Exactly. Speaking of big things, we have <laughs> this phone over here. It is. Um, that actually um, is one of my favorites because it provides a variety of accommodations. Uh, it has picture programmed buttons for individuals with memory loss or cognitive difficulty. It also is amplified for someone that has a hearing loss. And in addition to that, it will amplify someone's voice going out. So if you have a soft voice, if you've had a stroke, for some reason someone would have a hard time hearing you on the phone, they would be able to use this phone to amplify their phone, their voice going out. So it, it helps going in and going out to amplify. Both. That's really cool. Both. All right, mm -hmm. great. And then our fourth device back here? Yep, so that is an amplified cordless phone. And that is beneficial to individuals who would have a hearing loss needing the 
amplified volume, tone adjustment for the sake of clarity because sometimes just making it louder is not the answer. Right. Uh, in addition, the reason I brought this one in particular is it has a Bluetooth feature. So if someone does not have a landline telephone, they can utilize the benefits of this device by linking it to their cell phone number via Bluetooth. Look at Panasonic. I'm telling you. Think of, think of things through. <laughs> That's correct. These are great devices, and these are just a couple of devices, right? There's lots they more. Are, that, there that are. There are lots more that we provide, and the way that works is there's an opportunity um, for the Maryland resident to re to meet with one of our evaluators, mm -hmm. and they go through a series of test calls to make sure that they can hear them, that they can access the different features of the phone, that they can see the phone, or whatever it is they're trying to be able to do independently. And that's the opportunity to match them with the equipment that works best for them. Right. I know this is statewide, so everyone can enjoy this service, but we are showing this mainly in Queens County. That's correct. So for people in Queens County, where would they go if they wanted to do these tests? Sure. So the closest evaluation site to this location is in Easton, mm -hmm. um, and that would be after they have applied to our program, we'd set up an appointment for them to visit with the evaluator one-on-one. -on -one. So we do have an application process. They would fill out the application. Um, either they can pick one up at the event coming up, mm -hmm. they can pick up a paper application from us, or it can be accessed on our website. And then after that approval is when they would meet for the evaluation. All right, great. So it's just a short drive to Easton to, to uh, have your evaluation done. That is correct. Okay. You guys are actually doing a lot in the community, right? Do you have other stuff that you're doing? We do. We uh, actually try to visit with each senior center in the area so that the seniors know that the services are available and that the equipment is available to them also. Mm -hmm. uh, and any time that there are events in the community, we try to have a presence there. We set up a table. We bring out the equipment, some giveaways. Everybody loves to give away. Oh, yeah, I love giveaways. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, and more importantly, printed materials where they can walk away with the information about our program. So we do a lot in the way of outreach um, to get the word out about what we're providing. Sure. So if there is a, a senior center watching now or a group that would like to contact you, they can yes, do that. They certainly can do that. Right. And we'll put the information on the screen Perfect. so that they know exactly how to get in contact with you and the, and the programs. That works. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. So you guys are doing a lot and feel free to reach out anytime, right? Anytime. Anytime. So is there anything left to say about it? Uh, just that we are so happy to be providing the services and equipment statewide and happy to be here in Queen Anne's County today. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us. And I think we're going to let Meredith off the hook now because she's been signing down there in that corner for a while. She has. She has. We appreciate her. <laughs> of course. Well, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.